Hi, Chubbo. Hello, Chubby. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I think our camera is dying. I think we are dying. No, I haven't even started. We have been busy schooling. School and YouTube are not good together. Hello. Anyways, good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. We're headed to the bar. We haven't been there in a few days because you guys know that Vinny's been taking time off and Chino is taking time off too while we wait for the chiropractor, which has been annoying, waiting, waiting, waiting. And we always stick with the same therapist and the same people because once somebody gets used to your horse, then like it's hard to change because sometimes it can take people back, take them back. Like it's good to stick with what you know. So anyways, welcome to today. We're headed there. I was getting nervous when we're headed there when we haven't been for a few days and I miss them though. I'm, I'm ready for them to come home. Are you ready for them to come home? I am. Feels like we haven't been here in so long. And we it's only been a couple of days. So uh, you guys know Chino's off. He might even be better. Like sometimes horses just get stiff or whatever and then they get better. We gave them some medicine. And then we also had the massage lady come. So I mean, who knows, he could be better. Like I said, the Cairo can't come for a little while, which is annoying, but it has to happen. It just has to happen. So anyway, we're gonna bring them both in. We're gonna take care of them, groom them up, make sure they're doing good. And we'll see I'm about ready. Chino. Yeah, but you might be able to ride Chino if he's okay. Pray, let's pray. Other horses get stiff in the stiff and recover over time. It is a wet they're... zone. Oh, I don't, I don't have my pizza crock. I got runners on. We're just standing here, like, hmm, where should we go? Where to get past the mud? Honestly, I miss them. Like, I'm tired of not having my horses at home. I'm like this close. Oh, I'm this close to like saying no. We're bringing them home. Oh, Sophie found them. I don't. I don't know. And look, but yeah, like honestly, it's. Can you even see? Barely. Like I never ever would have seen all those horses standing in the trees, and I don't even know why they do. Like it's not raining. Why aren't they out there eating? It's not that sunny, it's fall. That's a Palomino pony for sure. I know why it feels like it's been forever for us with our horses. It's because usually we come Friday and we couldn't because we had to pick up my grandkids. And so that's why it seems like we missed today. So it seems like it's been forever and I always get like anxiety and think like, oh my gosh. Like, like I always feel like I need to have hands on them to know that they're like, doing okay even though they take really good care of them here but still you guys know what I mean like if I haven't heard from my kids for a while I start to panic and same as the horses oh Finn kind of went up to Sophie put his head in the halter see you guys he needed a rest yeah he needed a rest he needed a break <laughs> She thinks Finn missed her and I think he did too. I think he needed that little bit of a break, that miss day, just uh, rest and relaxation. He needed like, he just, you gotta listen to your horses, you gotta. And again, that's why I think bringing them home would be so good because then we could reconnect. Like I feel a disconnect. I, I feel disconnected. I want to reconnect, you guys. Sophie's home. Sophie's like, that's why having long legs is good. Finny, you look like you haven't had a bath. He's got a little cut. Yep. Horses are seriously so injury prone and accident prone. I think that's another part of it. Like when you haven't seen them for a while, you're like, oh, I hope you're okay, but they seem okay. You know what I'm gonna set you up for? What? A Western saddle. That's a good idea because then you- a boy. Yeah, because then it would make trails that much easier for you, huh? Oh no, just for play rides. No, it would be fun. I think and it would be. I could try different things. 
I think that's such a good idea. And maybe we have one at home that will fit thin. No, we don't. Yeah, I'll Maybe's find one. Small. I'll find one. Maybe you could get it for Christmas. Or my birthday. Or her birthday. Told you guys about somebody having a dream. Hi. Everybody's having dreams. <laughs> You're all having dreams about us. But anyway, she told me that she had a dream and that I got on Penny, because it was okay now. And that Penny uh, took off galloping away because she was so excited and I was scared. And I enjoyed it so much though, and, that, and it was how I knew that Penny was okay now. And then uh, I got her on the trailer the very first try. Like a really nice, positive, happy dream, and I hope it all comes true. Oh, the girl's name was Olivia. I just looked on Instagram, and she said that because I was so confident on Penny when she was galloping, I was able to put her in the trailer and bring her here, and we all went for a trail ride with the boys. And I ended up galloping a Penny through a big field. And yeah, I do not want to do that. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but anyway, it's awesome that she had a dream. And sometimes when people send me their dreams like that, it motivates me and inspires me and makes me excited for stuff that is actually going to happen. So thank you, Olivia, for sending me your dream. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, Gabby's going to check and see how he feels. Oh, wow. Where'd we get this? Oh, it's a chain. Why you got a chain on? Oh. Oh, it's just a chain lead rope. I see. I see. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. When I see you, my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me on the ground trampled by him. Me and I, was trying to turn. I know, Chino does not have good, like, um, he doesn't understand where ground people... Okay. No, he has good ground manners. He just doesn't understand where your body is in relation to his. He knows where he is, so he's not scared. Ooh, we love you, big boy. So this is what happened. We think that whatever happened is from this. Like, he got a little bite. It's old now, but he got this bite. And then his hip was kind of out. So our, our massage lady said that she thinks he probably like tucked his bum and he's such a long back horse that it can like make them, make them pull their muscles or whatever. All right, carrot stretches. <laughs> she can do it. Okay, let's see if he can go to this side. Can you come this way? Look, here, here, here. I'll go get treats. Come here. Yeah, that's it. Look at he can turn his neck so good. Look, stretch, stretch, not your body. Your yeah, see he knows. Good boy. Yeah, that was a big stretch. Okay. Big stretch. Woo, he can stretch really good on this side. He's doing better. You guys remember? Long ago when Gabby was like riding and she always had her reins crooked. Oh good boy, yeah. And then, uh, so Chino got like a crick in his neck. 
It was always right around crooked. He's really worked through that really well. Still, yeah, all the way back here. Yeah, good boy, yeah. You got it, yeah. Oh, I love you. I, I like horses just to play with them better than anything else. I'm not even joking. Just don't run me over. Oh my gosh, don't run me over. Like the faster I walk, the faster he walks. And then before you know it, I'm running. <laughs> Okay, you can come back, all the way back. Oh, it's hard for him to put his head all the way down because he has such a long neck, right? Or long legs. He has a short neck. Long, long legs. legs. I know, but why can't he put his head down so he far? Short legs, honestly. You think he has short legs? Oh yeah. It's the same as mine. Yeah. Okay, Gabby's gonna put Chino back in the field, played with him a little, and did some stretches for him, and then. We're gonna like come back in a couple of days and try them again. And he's getting a whole bunch of treats. I just put it on this. I could carry it out. Okay, that is way too many. He does not need that many. He'd be looking kind of chunky, but he's happy. Did you see how this is good. good. Like you guys don't know I'm how. I'm gonna do this every other ride. Like... Yeah, because you're gonna have a lesson next time. Like seeing our horses not performing really well always makes me feel bad inside, and so seeing him today makes me feel so good. All right, we are done. This is a fabulous day. I did not know it was going to be such a good day, and now it is such a good day. Bye-bye, Finny Finn. We'll see you in two days. Be good. Behave. Now we're at the other barn, and we're going to go see what horses they're riding tonight. All right. Who are you riding? Monday. Coco. So be you're riding Storm. He said you can ride whoever you want. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta get the helmet before we put the bridle on. I'll ride Buddy yeah. again. Okay, Buddy. Next, maybe next time you can ride Nash. She shows Buddy. Who are you riding? Coco. You want to ride Coco? I mean, he was good. What? Elizabeth, you're a bad friend. She's the best friend. So Sylvia's gonna be riding Buddy, who she loved, and now she's gonna be riding Nash. Tell us the theory behind why she should ride Nash. Does I wanna ride Nash too? No, well, Elizabeth. Um, I want to see her on that. <laughs> He's crazier than Buddy, so I want to see. So you wanna you wanna live vicariously. Are you taller than Gabby now? She has a riding turn. Turn around, around back to back. Back to back, back to back. Oh, yeah. Really close, Gabby. You're just a tiny bit taller. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm riding Nash. You want wait, to wait, wait, wait. Brandon, are you sure she should be riding Nash? You won't be able to jump him, right? Yeah. You won't be able to ride jump him. Yeah. So, well, so, yeah. <laughs> but thanks, Elizabeth. Next week. Next week, maybe. Yeah, next week. Next week, maybe. Maybe. All right, Mom, you're still coming. All right, I'll come with you. So close to making your ride Nash. Yeah, I'm making your friend die. <laughs> well, I need to ride Finn, so. I ride Finn. I <laughs> Elizabeth, ride Elizabeth rides Finn one time, and she's like, oh, you ride Finn. You can ride all these crazy ponies. <laughs> all right, Gabby's going that way. Sophie's going this way. Elizabeth's going that way. What way should I go? But now she's right there. I know. Let's show them Nash. Oh, I want to go see open. that other horse, too. So this is who Sophie wants to ride. This boy, Nash. All right, Dad will go with you. Nash, this is who she wants to ride. She won't be able to jump him though. He's like, he's like, you think Finn is crazy? Nash, be crazy. It literally rained here all night last night. So everything's flooded. Gabby's up there in her brand new running shoes. The shoes that I just bought her in the mud pit and she's bringing him the race is on Elizabeth first or Gabby first who do you think it will be with her brand new runners good runners Gabby graceful, graceful. I hate mud That's the one thing I do not mind missing. 
cleaning horses with muddy feet. Like, that's awful. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys Nanny McPhee. Nanny McPhee is the horse I might go buy. So Brandon has people coming. Somebody came last week and then didn't buy her. And then I, by the time I asked him, like, is she still for sale? He said he has somebody else coming. So I have to wait again. I got messages from people, though. They said, Laura, don't do it. You don't know what you're doing. You don't have enough time for more horses. You suck really bad. Don't get her. A lot of messages like that. Hi, Nanny. I like her, though. Do you guys like her? I mean, Gabby would ride every day at home if she had like a pony she needed to train. I love her. Don't you know that you're beautiful?